Hello kids. Welcome back to our lesson. How are you today? How was your weekend? How are you? You're good. And I hope you relaxed at weekend, huh? Yes? No? Of course, yes, right? You relaxed very well and you are ready for the new week. Great. Now, I will give you the answers of your homework. Okay, then we will continue with our workbook. Today, you know, it's workbook day, but firstly, I will give you your answers. So let's start it with part E, A, okay? All right, reading, saving people. Hmm. We have to text, right? And one is lifeguard and the other one is police officer. I will read them. I will answer all the questions very quickly, okay? Let's start, lifeguard. Hello, my name is Bobby. I'm a lifeguard. It's a nice job. Lifeguards work near pools and seas. We wait on the beach or around the pool. We watch people. Some people don't know how to swim. So we save them if they are in trouble. I love my job. I save many people. My job is very important because I keep people safe. I start work at 9 o'clock in the morning and finish work at 7 o'clock in the evening. I don't work on Mondays. Great, we have a person which is called Bobby. Is left lifeguard right and he likes his job he saves people's lives and he doesn't work on Mondays right great now let's look at the other one police officer hello my name is Martina and I'm a police officer police officers help people they also save people from danger police officers wear uniforms Many police officers use special cars at work. Some police officers work outside. For example, they work on the street, at metro station, or in front of buildings. Some police officers don't drive cars, but they ride motorbikes. These officers have got different names. They are traffic police. They watch the traffic on the streets. They help the drivers. Some of us have got dogs too. These dogs are also police officers. Great. We have one more person. She is Martina. She is a police officer. I think she likes her job too. And she talks about how police officers work, where they work, right? What they do, right? Right now, let's answer our questions. We have some questions, of course, right? Let's look at them then and answer them. Here we go. Okay. Yes, here. Okay, answer the questions. First one, one. What is Bobby's job? What is Bobby's job? What is our first text about? He is He is a lifeguard, right? He's a lifeguard. Great. And second one. Where do lifeguards work? They work near the C and pull, right? They work near the C and pull. Great. Other one, does Bobby love his job? Yes, he does, right? Yes, he does. He says, I love my job. And other one, D, why is Bobby's job important? Why it is important? Let's look at it here okay my job is very important because i keep people safe so okay here we 
go again yes why is Bobby's job important because he keeps people safe right or he saves people's lives right great other one does Bobby work on Mondays does he work on Mondays no right no he doesn't no he doesn't no he doesn't okay great job kids now second part right true or false we will read the questions sentences then we will decide they are true or false okay correct or wrong maybe okay a martina is a lifeguard martina is a lifeguard look at the text is she a lifeguard no she is a police officer so it is false right false she is a police officer second one police officers save people from water police officers save people from water what it's also false right police officers save people from danger not just water not fire not other things okay not hurricane or other things police officers generally save people from danger great job kids and c police officers never wear uniforms never wear uniforms it's also false right some police officers wear uniforms some police officers don't wear it right great and other one some police officers use motorbikes at work true and we call them as traffic police right great and the last one is there are some police dogs true or false true right yes there are some police dogs and they are also police officers great job kids all now check all your answers okay great now we will skip the part b right, we are at part b here we go vocabulary uh oh okay one complete the puzzle hmm. we have a puzzle we have some words in a box okay we will fill in the blank parts it is easy it's funny hmm. yes great okay let's look at our words astronaut firefighter athlete singer carpenter okay great now let's read them and do them ah one more thing i won't write on the okay puzzle just i will write the answers but you will fill in the blanks great now let's continue with orange okay one puts out fires one who puts out fires who firefighters right so first one is firefighter firefighter okay second one sing song who sings songs who singer right singer great Third one, shapes and fixes wood. Who is that person? Is a doctor? Astronaut? Which one is correct? Carpenter, right? Carpenter, okay. Here. Carpenter, great. And fourth one, goes to space. Who goes to space? Astronaut. Astronaut, okay. Oh, astronaut, okay. <laughs> I mixed the letters, okay. Astronaut, great. And last one is runs distances. Who is that person? Runs distances. 
athlete, right? Great. Athlete. Okay. Great job, kids. I wrote right run, right? Okay, great. Now, other part. We are at C part. Okay, use of English part. Now, we will run. Complete the sentences. Look at the example. Look at the example. We have question, we have sentences. Okay, first one. What, blah, 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 Alex, blah, blah, to be. We have want in parentheses, right? So, what does Alex want to be? It is does because Alex is our main person, right? Not I, not you, not they, not we, right? He or she. Great. He wants to be an astronaut. Or he doesn't want to be a carpenter, right? Great. Now let's do A. A, 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 okay. What blah, 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 John, blah, blah, to be? We have want in parentheses. So what does, right, John want to be? What does John want to be? B. Ruby blah 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 to be a lawyer. In parentheses, we have want. So Ruby wants to be a lawyer, right? Wants to be a lawyer. Right. C. Blah blah blah. Ellison blah blah to be an athlete. There's a question mark. It's a question. We have want in parentheses and what does, right, or does Ellison want to be an athlete? Yes or no, right? D, why blah, 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 he blah, blah, to be a journalist? Why does, right, he want to be a journalist? And the last one is he blah 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 to be a singer. In parentheses we have not and want. So he doesn't want to be a singer, right? He doesn't want to be a singer. Great. Now to complete the sentences, look at the table and the example, okay? Okay, look at table. We have some people and their jobs. Jack, a lawyer. Alice, a model. Mary, a singer. Tim, a mechanic. Okay? And look at our example. Question and answer. What, blah, blah, blah. Jack, blah, blah, to be. He, blah, blah, blah. What does Jack want to be? He wants to be a lawyer. Great. Second one. A, okay? What does, right? What does Alice want to be? She wants to be a model, right? A model. Great job, kids. Now, next one. What, blah, 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 Mary, blah, blah, to be. What does Mary want to be she wants to be a singer she wants to be uh, to be a singer awesome and the other one last one what blah 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 tim blah blah to be he blah 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 what does right what does Team want to be want to be he wants to be a mechanic, right? He wants to be a mechanic, he wants to fix the cars, he wants to fix the things, right? Broken things. Great. And take all your notes and take all your answers, okay? Great job, kids. Now let's continue with part D. Let's continue writing. 
Fill the table with short answers and write a paragraph. Write between 30 and 50 words. Hmm. Here it is our table. Okay, look at it. Here it is our table and we need to fill it. I will do it as an example. Okay, like this. I want to be a, for example, teacher. Why? Reason why I like kids. I like kids. Reason two, I like teaching. I like teaching. Okay, great. And the other one, I don't want to be a what? I want, I don't want to be a singer. Reason why, reason one, my voice is very bad. Is it true? Right. My voice is very bad. And the other one. I don't like singing. I don't like singing. Okay. It will be like this, but you, you will write them, then you will make sentences, okay? I think it's so easy for you. Now, that's all with our homework. Now let's jump to our workbook, okay? Let's continue with our workbook. Here we go. Okay. Here, it is our workbook. Lesson three, reading. Okay, reading. <laughs> Great, let's come here. Huh. Here we go. Okay. This okay. I hope you see it. A. Read a number. Hmm. We have some pictures. We will number them, okay, after we read it. What does that sign mean? It means you can't run here. Second picture. What does that sign mean? It means you can't feed the animals. Third one, I want to work with animals when I'm older. Great. And the last one is, let's go see the animals. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's number them. Which one is the first one? What do you think? Which one? Yes, last one is the first one, right? Actually, let's do it like this. Okay. That is the first one, right? Okay, one. They are at just entrance of the zoo, right? So let's go see the animals. Wait a minute. That's one. And the other one. What is it? That one is right. What does that sign mean? And it means you can't run here. That is two. And what is the other one? That is, what does that sign mean? It means you can't feed the animals. They are with animals now. And the last one is here. They say goodbye to each other. I want to work with animals when I'm older, right? Great job, cats. Now let's continue with part B. Okay. Let's continue with part B. Here we go. Unscrambled. We have some pictures. We have some scram scrambled sentences. We will make them proper. Okay. I think it's also easy for you too. Let's look at the picture. Okay. And what can be our sentence? It is what what does that sign mean, right? What does that sign mean? Okay. Second one, look at the picture. Look at the sign. What is it? It means you can't take 
pictures here, right? You can't take pictures here. Awesome, kids. And the last one is, look at the picture. What is it? I want to be, right? I want to be a what? Look at it. What is it? I want to be journalist, right? Journalist when I am older or I'm older, right? Great job, kids. Take all your notes, check all your answers, okay? Great. Now let's continue with part C. Here we go again. We are here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right, right. One more writing part, okay? But it's easier than others. We have some signs, okay? We will write what does that signs mean, okay? What do that signs mean? Let's look at the first one. What does that sign mean? Look at it. It means you can't climb trees here, okay? It is easy. Now, second one. Look at the picture and write our question firstly. Choose color. Okay, what does that sign mean? What does that sign mean? It means you cannot, you can't skateboard here, right? You can't skateboard here. Great. Third one, what does that sign mean? What does that sign mean? It means you can't use a, what is it? Look at the picture, what is it? What? It's a phone, right? Okay, you can't use a phone here. And the last one, look at the picture, we have a football right so it is what does that I mean what does that sign mean it means means you cannot can't play ah cannot okay play soccer here right you cannot play soccer here take all your notes okay take all your notes great and we are at part d finally it's our last part okay for today draw a sign what does it mean i want you create a new sign like what do you want, okay? And write, this sign means don't go there. This sign did say means don't do that, okay? This sign means can't do that, blah, 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 okay? You can't, you will write something like this. Great. Okay, that's the end of our lesson for today. Tomorrow we will have our course book lesson, okay? We will continue in our course book. So, till tomorrow, till our course, take care of yourself. Goodbye.